yesterday went round to John and Nadia's place and John was having a look at his hive so we took it apart. Unfortunately there's a bit of cross combing in that um, little hive that we set up just a year ago but it's going pretty well and he got a fair bit of honey out of it. Is that right? Yeah. Now this was the day before John and Nadia's place so I hadn't had a chance yeah, to come over and good. inspect the hive. Uh, for a while and unfortunately they were cross combing quite badly over around four combs but fortunately for us all of the framework was capped honeycomb so all we did was grab all of the cross capped honeycomb and did a little clean up and put it back together. See that little cell there? Right there? Yeah, yeah. That's a queen cell. believe how well mannered they are. They must know that I love them. <laughs> well, they're pretty gentle with me too. Yeah. I, uh... Sometimes they put me in the zone at night when I'm looking at the computer yeah. and they're just walking over my face and stuff. <laughs> Two broad comb together, and we'll leave that up there. Okay. Now that'll always be a broad comb, eh? Yep. Oh, there. That can be a broad comb. This was all this cross combing across four top bars right up to the left follower board. There's only one follower board in this hive. So we just cut all the uh, comb off and hopefully the bees are going to actually build the right way this time. We'll stay on top of it by checking it every two weeks. So in the process of cleaning all this cross comb up, I was left with a little broad comb with some honey stores. And I'll put the chunks of comb in the bottom left hand side of the hive and cover it with this bit of cardboard so that no intruders can get in. The bees can uh, forage on these chunks of comb for the next two weeks and recycle and get what they can out of it. It is Anzac Day, Friday the 25th of April and I'm in the mood to inspect so I'm up in the attic. I'm a bit of a ventriloquist actually, that's why my lips aren't moving at the moment. So John had a valid question yesterday when we we're doing his hive and that was why worry about cross combing? Why not just leave it all there and add to the hive and worry about it all later and and as a first timer, I was pretty much tempted with the same sort of dilemma. Plus the same situation exactly. I left it too late to inspect my hive for the first time. Consequently, I had a fair bit of clean up to do with this hive. But stringing a few months together with regular inspections and maintenance of the hive and making sure the bees are building the combs in the right direction makes for a much easier and a far quicker inspection. And a quick inspection would be what you're aiming for as a beekeeper. Less disruption to the colony if you can go through the top bars one by one nice and quickly and just um, look out for any dramas that may occur within the colony like hive beetle or um, moth sliming or sometimes the uh, brood diseases you're going to look for. 
This comb here is one that I saved from cross combing about a year ago with a clip on the top bar. And this comb had a little hive beetle running down it, so I grabbed the knife and crushed that out. A healthy colony should be able to resist the attacks of beetles and moths, but I've got a trap which runs the length of the hive and slides out like a drawer and interchanges with another one that I just slide one out, slide one in. On this particular inspection, I saw two beetles running on the combs and four in the trap drawer and six or seven moth larvae sliming around. Also caught in the trap, they couldn't get back up to the hive. So I was very happy with the health of the hive, but I was really keen to view the queen. And there she was on this braid comb, totally different in looks to the other bees. She was more like a wasp than a bee in appearance. So there you have it, a successful inspection. I kept two full capped honeycombs for myself, found no diseases, saw the queen, caught some beetles. Didn't make a great deal of mess, so I put a plastic drop sheet down these days. And I found a difference in inspecting these two hives is my bees are more aggressive, probably due to the fact that there's more of them and, and it's slightly a confined space that I'm inspecting. And this is one of the combs that I've kept for myself, just brushing the bees off and I'll throw it in my little bucket. And putting it back together, I've left the left follower board out, just put another top bar, but this right follower board I've actually um, kept in there because I'm confined for height and don't want to struggle with a full attachment right at the end.